name is Crystal Robinson, student number 377-6777-06. Today we are at the Friends of RSPCA and I'm doing my video assessment on first aid. This is a demonstration of a um, scenario reenacted a dog hit by a car and has um, an injured leg and is bleeding profusely. Um, okay, so after checking for any danger to myself or the animal, um, where PPE to protect from transfer of diseases that the dog may have or if it might um, be scared it might have a tendency to bite. So first of all um, we would place the um, dog on a plywood or a um, um, place the dog on a stretcher to um, move the animal with um, little movement. Um, you can check for vital signs, check if they're conscious and breathing. Um, you can see the rise and fall in the chest. For breathing, consciousness, if the dog is um, responding. But what we're going to do is we're going to move it gently onto a plywood to stop from um, any spinal movement, um, any f further movement that can cause um, further injury. So we'd slide them onto a piece of wood and have them tied down um, to restrict movement also to stop them from um, swishing around they might um, because they're injured um, and a bit stressed they might get a bit snappy um, with the because the leg is bleeding profusely, it would stop the bleeding, would apply pressure but not squeeze it, it might have a broken leg. When you okay. we're going to if we have um, a bandage available, so look in your first aid kit, animal first aid kit. We'll bandage it, apply pressure to the wound um, with sterile bandage. Bandage it including the foot so that it doesn't cut circulation into the foot. We'll bandage that. So have the dog tied to the board and we're going to cover the animal with a blanket. Um, we want to um, prevent shock or stop at the early stages of shock. Um, when an animal is injured or very stressed, um, all the blood goes into vital organs and it can um, actually damage other organs if they go on to later stages of shock. Um, when transporting an animal, you get, um, once the dog's on, tied to the um, stretcher, see even the blanket can also help keep them stable. Um, get two people to move the dog into the back of the vehicle and take the um, animal straight to the vet. So, we get both sides and then lift it into the back of the vehicle. Can you check on my phone? Once the animal is at the vet, they need to assess the um, emergency situation. It is an urgent, um, with a dog with a, um, that's hit by a car and has a broken leg, it is urgent but it's not life threatening. If the accident hasn't, um, done damage to the respiratory or um, cardiovascular system, then it's um, non-life threatening. Um, so we'll have the dog um, lying in line with the body. Check vital signs, um, consciousness and the eyes, um, breathing. Yeah, but there's, there's, there's so many things. <laughs> so when an animal, an uh, injured animal comes in, we'll perform a crash plan, which is airway, check that the airway is clear. Um, that there's no foreign objects in the mouth. Um, check for heartbeat and pulse. You check for a dog's pulse in the um, in the femur, which is um, in their behind their back leg, just behind the um, like the knee. So <laughs> so it would be in their hind leg, just right under here. Um, in a large dog, it'd be six to eight 
60 to 100 beats per minute. So best way to check normal um, at a resting rate, the heart rate would be 15 beats per 15 seconds times that by four and that's 60 beats. So in an injured animal that would be increased because they were under stress. Um, the presence and absence of breathing. So you can see a rise and fall in the chest. Um, abdomen, you would check but not palpate. There could be internal injuries. Um, check this, there's no injury or deformity in the spine. I look for any pelvic injury, any broken limbs, which in this instance, um, the dog has an injured leg. So we've bandaged that. Um, it will require further vet attention. Um, and check for arteries and veins, dehydration and shock. You check um, the CRT, the capillary response time. Just you know, open the mouth. Um, you check the gums. If there's hammer, like if there's pale gums, that would be the hemorrhaging from the bleeding. Um, your capillary response time is about two seconds. So when you press the gums and they go white, it should the the normal um, response time is two seconds. And then check nerves and peri um, peripheral ability to move limbs and tail. Should the animal not be breathing? CPR on a dog. Um, you position them in the recovery position. Um, you'd hold hold their mouth close and you'd blow into the nose. You hold the mouth close so the air doesn't escape out of their mouth. And it's um, five breaths for every five seconds. So you'd hold like this and into the nose. Um, five breaths every five seconds. And then if they're still not responding, it's one breath every five seconds. CPR, um, you have the dog positioned on its right side and you would perform CPR on the abdomen and in the chest, which is about here. Okay. Heel of your hand um, on the abdomen end of the chest, the other hand underneath, and you would do um, fast firm beats, 15 seconds at a time for um, 80 beats per minute. So one, two, three, four, five, and check the pulse in the femur to see if there is a response. Keep going. You check the um, hydration of the animal um, by pulling the skin on the neck. Um, it should um, fall back straight away. If it's slow or if the gums are sticky, it means the animal's dehydrated. Um, uh, the animal's regular temperature, uh, dog's regular temperature is about 38 degrees. Um, so in an injured animal, we would keep them warm. Also during treatment, keep them warm and give them reassuring pats, um, slow um, movement and lower their voices to stop them from being stressed and to going into shock. An animal's weight um, is important as medicine dosages um, are administered depending on their weight. So this uh, dog that has been hit by a car would get a um, local anaesthetic, but um, they'd get um, anesthesia if they're going into surgery, so that's the loss of consciousness in their feeling, so they won't feel the operation. Um, the vet would x-ray and check for fractures um, and would probably end up, dog would end up in a cast.